Hi, Bridget Ayer here with All About the Grace. Are you docile? Let's talk about that. What is docility? That is a word that is not used very often and I actually looked it up. I know what it means but I wanted to have a really good definition for you. Readily trained or taught. Teachable. Being docile, one of, this, one of my priest friends would always talk about this topic and I, I would always think why is he talking about that? But he was saying that being docile is the best quality that you can have to be a disciple or to be discipled and that's kind of what this channel is about is about discipling others and the opposite of docility is pride or arrogance and if you're a teacher have you ever tried to teach somebody that's like really arrogant it's it's nearly impossible teaching somebody that thinks that they know it all it's nearly impossible to teach someone like that you know there's kids that are like that there's adults that are like that it's not just about being docile to anything it's about being docile to the Holy Spirit the Holy Spirit is really the teacher or the counselor it's important to be docile. When you are being a disciple and you're trying to disciple others, you have to kind of see where they're at. But if you are a parent and you are, you know, teaching your young kids, young children are just by and large, unless they're two, unless they're in the terrible twos, they're very, very docile, very teachable. Then you hit the teenage years and you're, you're back to the terrible twos to a certain extent. But then you get into the upper teens and college years and then, you know, hopefully your kids return <laughs> to be somewhat docile. And, and, you know, without docility, it's really difficult to connect with God. One of the most important qualities to be discipled or to disciple others when you're discipling others, they have to have that quality. And if they do have that quality, you're gonna have a much easier time. Well, um, thanks for watching. Be docile.